Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Q Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial, this is part two of my, um, I think, two part series, I hope two part series, about the true or false game or quiz game. And uh, in this tutorial in, or in this part, you learn how to create a counter. So you can count your points like this. Or, for example, uh, the logic behind three three mistakes and how to end this game so boop so you don't see the uh, buttons uh, or end the counter stops so really that this game stops and yeah anyway if you have no time to create this uh, to part two please check my gunrope channel and um, there you find the whole template for sale and yes um, have fun with this tutorial, enjoy it, and let's start. We start with the counter. I think that is a little bit easier. Just make sure, th so this is the game logic. Closer, comment around. So, game logic. green and this part right here is our game setting for example so we start with the counter and for the counter we need the states of our false is true and the answer true is true so uh, the true answer and we go uh, add an or to it. So, and and sender. And the sender is our score. So, and it's a boolean. Receiver, call score. Up. And add this to encounter. And we're gonna test it with a value. Make sure that you add the maximum counter to 99, for example. So uh, it doesn't start over again, but it should work now. And the next step, create a text value. So use this 3D text because we want to make sure that we add this text to our um, scene. And add this up here. Oh, yes, the rotation, zero, zero, one, so looks nice I think just add in and narrow and material is our material call this one score and score Uh, add a script, JavaScript, right here, and go to script. So, and this is a number. Call this one also number. And add this um, right here. Don't need this value again. Uh, the script is always the same. Maybe you watched this tutorial right here, so you don't need uh, to create this uh, whole scene. Just skip this part. And for the rest of you, we go to our script. In my ca case, I use um, brackets as a script editor, but uh, of course, choose the script editor you like. 
And this script is pretty simple. So first of all, we search for our scene because we want access to our require, uh, our um, um, text, 3D text. But uh, first of all, scene, make sure add the scene, semicolon, and we need access to our patches. patches. Uh, also require the patches patches. If it's a little bit too fast for you, again, watch this uh, tutorial um, up here and um, right here. Uh, there um, I create some mistakes, so you make sure that you uh, make the script perfect. Promise all, then um, the curve brackets, the square brackets, and now we, we directly um, search for our root uh, and find first, find first, and then um, our, in this, our case, number. I think with a, with a capital M, I'm not sure. And then, of course, our patches, patches, and our output, because we created an output and uh, get the scalar from our output. And our output is our score. Again, I'm not quite sure if I use the capitals. And I'm um, sorry, this one uh, is score. And this one is our number. Now, the next step is uh, we create a function. Whoops then uh, create a function sorry fun function and this function we call this one result where so very important uh, make sure this is uh, not a semicolon it's a comma and make sure you have the brackets right and then we create a variable called this one um, score and uh, we search for, uh, we have um, the results, the order of zero and one. So results uh, zero. So I ask for the score right here. And then we need uh, with a semicolon, uh, need another called number Oh God, <laughs> number um, results. Again, make sure it's results because oh, um, we, the, we, the function should call this uh, function results. And square brackets and one. So we ask for, we have a variable with this information, uh, this information from the scene and a variable from this um, patch output from uh, the patches. So, and now we create, uh, we start with our score and we, uh, from our score, we go to our text and we want to make sure that the score text is equal to our number and to the string of our number who is um, blank because uh, the information of our string is the information from our counter. And so make sure you, um, this is closed. The whole function is closed. Save this. And now we have a uh, get scalar. Patches, outputs, boop. Outputs, not put. Clean that up, refresh again, play. And now it's working. Again, so um, we have this. Uh, this is our output of our um, script. So uh, when I, I send to this output right here, the value 
um, of my counter. And now it's uh, the value is zero because I didn't start the game. And then uh, when I add, have this um, value, this value should uh, show up in this uh, inspector in the text field. So that's why this is yellow. It, again, if this is lit way too fast for you, just watch this tutorial up here and uh, make sure uh, that you get this whole thing. But now it should work. I don't like the color, by the way. Um, maybe. Ah, and okay. Maybe not flat. Yeah, way better. Way, 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 way better. Maybe black. Yeah, black is fine. Okay, let's test this. Nope. Yes. Yeah. Nah. Perfect. Pretty simple, more or less. <laughs> ah. And um, go to uh, around, a uh, comment around and uh, call this one, um, name this one counter or score. And maybe blue. Perfect. And the next step is uh, we need the information from our uh, when I hit three strikes, then the game over part should appear. And we start with the logic and later I add the, um, uh, the icons to it. But first of all, let's start with the logic behind that. So we need a new sender. We have this sender right here. Just put this just make it a little bit up here so it's a little bit could be a little bit messy i'm sorry for that but uh, now we need these false and false so another or and this false or that false so my answer is false so we had to uh, create a sender again. And this is also a Boolean, I think. And for this Boolean, I call this Boolean uh, error. I can also call this false, whatever. Uh, this is an error. And we create a receiver. Now we start with... Um, Hey, okay. We start with that logic and we create for that a counter again. Counter. And we increase, we say, um, increase by uh, four. It's not important. So we call it so three is also fine, but. I'm not quite sure why I choose um, four, but it could be uh, just a coincidence. So um, well now we need an equal exactly because we want to make sure that when I hit equal, equal exactly three, then the um, so three strikes, for example, and then the um, game over screen appears and the game is over. So I just increase pulse between that. And we need a switch. And I want to turn off. Now I want to turn on the game over. So I just game over part is down here, put this between these. Just make an example with one question, so with one error. Start, I say this is, yeah, that is working. 
and now I say no and this is my game over um, screen and now just the example with three wrong answers now one two three and over okay pretty easy so far so i want to see three axes for example uh, to make sure that uh, this is that i failed so and for that um, i uh, create a new plane whoops this is our error and put this up here and just it's a little bit easier when I just drag it to the right place okay and add a material to it also error um, flat and we need a uh, animation sequence this is our animation error and I just use these three so one, one two three yeah uh, frame rate just so you can see it a little bit just a little bit so boop 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 um, this is our error maybe say 0 0.5 no and this one is 0 point Okay, that looks pretty nice. Just to make sure that the advanced render option, depth, and now put this down right here. Yeah. Nice so far, just want to add a new color that is why um, if you want to choose uh, the colors later you can just um, um, create icons or PNGs in white so you can choose the colors later in Spark IR so we have more control about that first of all we have to make sure that we don't see the error when we start with the game so we make we have to make sure that we see the first um, cross when we hit the first wrong answer. So um, go to visibility, switch and turn on the switch. Make sure the arrow is right up here. Play, I say boop and now I see this. But um, of course, we need to make sure that we don't see the animation. And for that, we go to this um, animation error, current frame. And now um, just could link this directly to this right here. Start the game. Uh, but I see the second cross. So of course you can make, you can add a new uh, um, a frame with just a blank image, but also you can what you can do is subtract and subtract so it's minus one. Add this link this between. And now I see the first one. Oh. <laughs> and wrong. So, 
three crosses and then it would be a thing start over again but now we I want to make sure that I stop uh, that this um, crosses uh, will disappear again so I add an no I'll add a delay so if it's equal exactly um, now it's a little bit confusing and uh, when I add uh, equal exactly three cent, uh, so switch uh, this off again. And you can, so you see the last cross a little bit longer, delay, add and delay for maybe one duration, always. So, dub and dub again. Start false. Boop, and it disappears. And uh, just the color is a little bit annoying. And now I just want to make sure that I don't start the game again. Hello, <laughs> um, you see I just um, create this uh, comments around because I needed a little while to figure out um, how to end this game without any complications. First of all, I don't want to see this um, axis, uh, the X uh, icons or the arrow icons and this, uh, for example, true or false. And for that, uh, the easiest uh, solution is to add a null object to your scene and then include the true and false button, right? Hopefully, yeah, it's on the same place, still same place and the error too. Refresh again. So this looks nice. So we want to switch this after three ex axes. Uh, after th this, we want to make sure that we start the game over, but not the visibility of these. So when I start the game and say no no and no then hide these and of course I saw maybe also these two okay now the next thing is uh, I want to make sure that the counter stops and that's, that is more or less simple. Um, we just need an end up here. I want to create right here equal exactly uh, sender Call this stop, for example, and it's um, boolean. So send a stop boolean a receiver and put this receiver receiver up here. But we need a not, and then I think a switch. So when, let's start over again, false, 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 still working, maybe a switch. on 
false notch. Okay, start over again. And you see, the thing is that the easiest way to make sure that the counter stops is to add uh, to your pulse an end so that you make sure that um, if equal exactly is not three in this case, then um, a boolean is not active or is no pulse and make sure that the switch is on. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And if you want to buy this template, then check the comment section down below. There you find the link. And of course, uh, if you want to um, support my channel, please leave, leave a like, a subscription, hit the notification bell. So see you next time. Enjoy the process. Bye bye.